Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge, and today we are going to show you how we do our daily progress for this year's Winter Wonderland event. Now, Captains, I've said this before in previous videos, Winter event is one of my favorite events here in Star Trek Online. It just kind of changes the pace. So what we're going to do is do the race, give you some tips and tricks, of course, our ECs, and then give our conclusion. So... Now, I am on my Federation tune. This is my main, of course. And we are in Earth Space Dock. So there's a couple of ways that you can get to the Winter Event. One of them is, of course, going through Q here on ESD. Now, on Kronos, I did not see him here in, the, in front of the Great Hall before. So, again, that's one way is here through ESD. Now, you can also just access this through your journal here. If you go here at the top right corner of your screen... Hit that overview and go to the events tab and go seasonal winter. You can also trans warp there. Now, new this year, and I mentioned this in the previous video that we did earlier or yesterday, as of this recording, we have a new voiceover for Q. So let's actually listen to that before we go to the winter event, Wonderland. Enjoy games played in the bracing chill of a winter's day. As a holiday gift to my favorite mortal, I have created a winter wonderland for your revels. When you're ready to go, just say the word. It is pretty cool now that we have actually a voiceover for Q. And of course, this is Q's son. Now, in the years of doing the winter event, I've always heard delancey in my head but now that we have this it's kind of cool that we finally do get a voiceover for you so again you can just go through here or again your journal tab but we'll use this oh, are you ready to feel the winter wind whipping at your never mind regardless i fear you may be too frail of body and mind to withstand all the merriment i've conjured up for you this year still if you insist so be it Pretty cool. Now, of course, it says here the requirement characters must have completed their tutorial and selected an allegiance to visit Q's Winter Wonderland. So again, if you can't find Q in your faction's base, you can just access the trans warp from the events head like we showed you right here. Okay, caps, but we're going to go through this way. Let's go visit Q's Winter Wonderland. Just like that, you are transported here. Again, this is what we've been doing. It's one of our easiest ways to get the daily progress for the ship. And of course, which is that Breen ship right there, the Barjai Interceptor. So once you get here on Winter Event Map, all you got to do is turn to your left, go see the race coordinator here, talk to him, hit that. It actually say start. I actually did this in this my second time trying this. Just go restart. If you fail, you can always go back here and restart. So again, go down the stairs here to your left. Here to the fastest game on ice. Now, how we do this is normally we just run through the whole course. Now, if by chance, and we'll actually before we start this so that I can show this to you now. It is pretty slippery. You can actually just walk the whole course, Captains, and it's actually easier. Sorry. And then if by chance you find... Because you just got to stay in between these two sort of markers here on either side of the blue road here. There is some give here. If you have to pass and you'll see it when we do the actual race. But in case you feel like you need to stop, there's a couple things you can do. One... And you can just kind of walk through this here because you won't slip as much. You'll just actually be able to cut these corners quite fairly easily here. And again, yes, you'll have the NPC racing you. But trust me, if you just walk here, keep the course, they won't beat you. Now, 
if let's say you decide to run or you're about to fall out the course you can do two things one you can roll the direction away from where you're kind of drifting towards so let's say here if i want to go back to the road here i'm running i just turn right there all i do is double tap either w the d or sorry the s back here so you can just roll now again or you can jump let go of everything and then you'll stop right in place no matter how fast you're going jump stop there you go so those are a couple two things that you can do to sort of stop yourself from going outside the course like i said you can cheat it a little bit but again you want you can just walk the course so now we're gonna do ours here just to show you captains how we do it once you talk to him you'll be transported here which is kind of weird but sure we're just gonna run our course here and again if we get into trouble we will just do, do those two things here that we mentioned earlier so again you can kind of cut that a little bit here and there just as long as you don't go way past you can actually use these edges here to kind of slow you down a little bit and all you got to do is i'm just fully running right now and using the sd keys to run now when i get here i just kind of do a full turn right away easy peasy again just you go to the opposite direction a little bit here and again you can kind of cheat a little bit like i said here and do a turn here Turn myself I still haven't let go of W and you can see I'm cheating it just a little bit as we're doing the course here done this course so many times you kind of almost know in the back of your hand you almost kind of cheat that one there pretty bad and then I can just use that post to stop me continue on my merry way slide through the finish and there you go like a minute it takes a minute to do that captains so then you just go back to the race coordinator here you'll get your daily progress when you talk to them and some experience expertise and then it's a 20 hour cooldown now again this is one of the ways you can use any of the events here. Of course, Ties on Ice, Campiri, Cones of Conduct, Fast and Flurious, Klingon Ice Fishing, Campiri. Like, you can do those captains, and of course, it'll give you your daily progress. Not an issue, but this is how we choose to do it because it's really easy. Now, again, if you're having trouble, you can just walk the course. Shouldn't be no issue if you can do that. You just walk the course, and again, this just gets you your daily easy and then you can carry on with whatever else so captains this is going to be a short video thought we would kind of go over that show you how to get to the winter event show you how we do our daily progress to get the free ship again you can choose the other events but this is how we do it quite easily and you can use your frosted boots if you want to but again you just got to be careful but you can use the rolling forward rolling backwards or jumping and letting go of everything to stop yourself if you feel you're going to go off the course so captains look out for a couple more videos we're going to do some of our how to especially how to collect some ornaments here how we do it i've already started that process so we're going to show you already how easy it is to get the amount of ornaments we do yearly here in the winter event Again, captains, hopefully you enjoy this winter event as much as we do. And hopefully you're doing it so you can get your free ship. So like the video, comment below, let us know how you do your winter event. And of course, we will leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.